Got a good one for you tonight as a team from the Upper Northwest makes their first appearance here in the Rocky Mountains, but it won't come easy. The Avalanche have won four straight, all of them comeback victories. Glad to have you on board as we kick off another week of hockey here in Colorado. From Ball Arena in downtown Denver, it's the Seattle Kraken and the Avalanche on altitude. With that, we welcome you inside. I'm Kyle Keefe. How about the last two games? They have been nuts. The Avs took care of business against the Winnipeg Jets 7-1. McKinnon went crazy. Landeskog had a hat trick. And then the other night was a little different story. Down 3-0, down 4-1, but they battled back and found a way to win in overtime. What's in store tonight? Can't wait to find out. Let's get you upstairs. Mark Mosier and Peter McNabb. All right, Kyle, thanks. Well, Kyle's talking about it, the top line. It's spectacular, Pete. The last two games, they've been unreal. But even when you look at the numbers, it's hard to comprehend what these three superstars all together have been able to do. Well, you know somebody for the Kraken had to go in there in the dark, put these games on, on and watch and go, what do I say? <laughs> what, do I, what do I tell my players? These guys right now, I mean, this is the way that they play. They're such a, they're in control. They're big, they're strong, they're talented. They played together for a while now. They know the big moment. You know, every time you turn around, someone's getting a game-winning goal, a game-winning assist. So th this this is the Colorado Avalanche. This is their, this is their core. And they, when they, when they play like this, look out. Yeah, Blandeskog, of course, is out in COVID protocols. So Andre Burakovsky will go up there tonight. But on the back end, you got everybody there. Kale McCarr and Devon Tapes. Pete, we keep saying it, but they are the best defensive pair in the entire NHL. You better start listening to National Hockey League. This pair, when they've been in the lineup healthy, the Avalanche are 16 and two. The Avalanche have won the last four games. <laughs> two in overtime. Taves got one. McCarr got one. But when you watch the, 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 the way that they've watched Taves face, Watch this. This is the. This is all about team. When he goes around the net, watch this. You yes. love to see it. You just love to watch the reaction <laughs> of the players as they came pouring off the bench, and rightfully so, because he is that good, there's and he's no, right up there in terms of scoring in this. No, league. me, me, me. When McCarr scored, he was like, wow, you know. And, and when Tay scored, it was, there it is, gentlemen. We just won the best darn hockey game you're going to see in the first half of this season. Also tonight, we'll welcome in a couple of uh, Seattle players. We'll get to those guys momentarily. But now some cad repeats. If you want him to pick up the slack, he can do it for you easily. 44 points. He's fifth in the NHL in scoring. And he's not yet going to the All-Star game, fans. we got to find some way to get him to the All-Star game. He is fifth in scoring in the NHL right now. I remember one year GM for the Seattle Kraken Ron Francis was second and he didn't go, but that was Mario Lemieux and all this stuff. The man deserves to go to the Hall of Fame, or the, the All-Star game. Let's vote for him. Let's do it. And finally, again, our friends, Jonas Donskoy taking the expansion draft and our old buddy Philip Grubauer between the pipes signed the free agent deal. It's always a big moment. Doesn't matter. You know, it, it, the Colorado Avalanche the last couple of years had some incredibly close calls. This club was oh so close to doing a lot of great things. So now they come back, Donskoy and Grubauer, you know, and it, it's got to be tough because they, they know that a bounce here, a goal there, and this whole thing might have been different. Could have been, but tonight the Avs don't want to make it any different than what they've been doing the last four, which is winning. It's Seattle's only appearance in Denver this season, and tonight you got it. The Kraken are in to take on your Colorado Avalanche. So stick around. The puck will drop next here on Altitude. Nights in Denver, Colorado, as we get an outside look at Ball Arena. And on the inside, it's Peter McNabb and Mark Bozier as the Avs welcome in the Seattle Kraken for the first and only time this season. Let's take a look at tonight's starting goalies presented by Holman Automotive. Well, you might recognize both of these goaltenders. Probably one more. Philip Rubar won in that for 
Pavel Francouz, who's been injured, but was he a key performer last game? Francouz. Now, Grubauer has not been outstanding to this point. He got the big contract. They need him to be better. Abs win the opening draws. Taves gets it fired <coughs> in from the car into the Seattle zone. Played by Grubauer. He'll bash it off and then rip to the far side by Larson. Here's Kale McCarr Out to the blue line. He'll walk it. Dishes off for Taves. Back to McCarr, who had exited his own wrist shot. Knocked down in the slot. Went off of Ranson, and after a hit a cracking player, that was Johansson. And back to the Avs zone, it's fed. And here we are, 30 seconds into the game. The Avs getting a change, and the Cadre line is coming on. Skating tonight with Valnachushkin back in the lineup on one side, and JT Kompfer on the other. Up to Bowen Byram. He'll rip that puck in far side. Today we're to the half boards. Kompfer took a shot right in the leg. Bracken come away with it. Given off for Yanni Gord, the former Tampa Bay Lightning. Sent the head to the Avalanche zone as Blackwell tried to play catch up. Kicked into the corner. JT Kompfer sweeps it between the circles. A little bit of a dangerous play, but the Avs able to come away with that puck. Nas and Cavern. Slap shot over the top of that. Grubauer made a little bit of a hitch move, and all the way down it goes. Here is Girard. He'll pop it off. Byron and a man slide into him. That was Ryan Donato. Bracken come away with a pop. Lozon with a shot wide of the net, and it ricochets off that back of the cage. Appleton there for the Kraken. Logan O'Connor hit by Gord. Mavs do have the puck, however. Set to the near side for Newport. Seattle coming in 0-4 and 1 in their last five games. Obe Kubel tried to center that one off. Larson was able to knock that puck away and then off the stick. Obe Kubel takes a kick as Luzon made a run of him. O'Connor pinned. Leg got up of Luzon right there on him, but it's fed off. For Donato, he'll find, excuse me, Larson, I should say, he'll find that red line and dump it into the avalanche end. Giannis Donskoy making his first appearance of the night for the Kraken. Long reshot shot saved by France Jones. He'll get on top of that rebound, and there is the whistle. Gabe Landeskog today went into the NHL's COVID protocol. I mean, I couldn't believe it. He was player of the week. And I'm thinking, this is fantastic, well-deserved. Turn around and somebody in the home mentioned, yeah, he's got COVID. I go, no, he didn't. He won an award. No, no, he's got COVID. I go, what is going on? It must be amazing to take those tests. Do you, uh, do you immediately suspect that you, you have it? See, I've been lucky, knock on wood. Yeah, for sure. I, I will tell you this, though. Um, from what we understand, he's completely asymptomatic. He came as a bigger shock to him as it does to anybody else who perhaps uh, runs into it. Lock is down, kicked away from Helm. Quick shot, deflected, saved by Francois as Donskoy let that one fly. Giannis Donskoy sitting on a goose egg this year as far as goals are concerned in this is now his 34th game. A lot of games, Marsh, they have nothing. Donskoy squirted away from McDermott. Had Jack Johnson back in the lineup tonight. Good to see him out there. Dumped off the leg. That puck will roll through the bottom of the circle. McDermott had his stick tied up. Donskoy still fighting for it. It's finally steered to the near corner, and Jack Johnson found some open room. Head for Jost. Off that puck here. On his horse as hell. Out Jost. Back down by Larson. And in the far corner, the puck is kicked away, booted at by the crack. Susie had it ripped away from here. McDermott. Hard to handle in the corner, but the Kraken with an active stick able to get that puck away. That offered Devon Taves. Avs top pair back out on the ice. Taves rims it around to the far side. Getting a stick on it was Jared McCann. Back and we're able to clear the zone as McKinnon will bump it back to his own end. Lots of skating, but not much hockey to this point for either of these clubs, kind of feeling each other out. It's an excellent way to pull. Long stretch pass finds Burakovsky. Wanted to shovel it off for McKinnon, it does. McKinnon, a dangle move and a backhand shot saved by Grubauer. Quick shot there and another save by Grubauer. Couldn't quite get to the rebound. To the point. Here is McKinnon. He'll march it down the boards into the corner. McKinnon, near side shot. Oh, goodness gracious. Kale McCarr had to go off the heel of his stick. And what a pass by Nathan McKinnon. 
Bracken able to steer that one away. Jordan Everly had fought for it on the near side, and it's flipped up and out. Jordano, the captain of the Seattle Kraken, taking the expansion draft away from the Calgary Flames. He was their captain, of course, as well. Lou Yanni Gord, Owen Byron will fly down the puck. Gets the return pass from Girard. Here is Bowen. Send it right through to Chushkin, head high. Dunn couldn't hang on. Ab scooted up for Girard. Sammy G fakes the slapper, walks it straight away. Still gets around a man. Here is Girard. Centering pass. Turned to the far side, and it goes off the stick of JT Comfort. He's checked, and the crack and able to get it out with Don Score. Abs will smother here. Cadley, spinner on the move, but he lost the handle, and Seattle will settle things down. Larson. Brings it in and rips that puck near side to far as Obey Kubel was waiting. Push toward the front of the abs net. It's deflected wide. Rolls to the near side. Fire immediately tied up there by Mason Appleton. Battle four in the corner. Obey Kubel. Head up top. Susan. Larson floats it down deep. Saved there by Francis. Abs turn it over again. Donato by his lonesome. Donato with a backhand shot, and there's a blocker save by Francois. The Kraken now starting to apply the pressure. Creaky delivered it to the high slot. Didn't get a lot of wood on it to the Kraken. Here's Newhook back the other way. He tries to give it off and does. Quick shot. Score! season and that was exquisite puck movement you don't think this coach for the avalanche doesn't know there's no his club guess who he said the best player was the other night Javi Kubel said he was on the puck he was dangerous he was he didn't get a break right here for the Colorado Avalanche he gets the first goal of the game and this line is fascinating it was sort of put together a little bit at the during during the game and the kid in the middle is the guy that I am really interested in new hook he is he going to be that that spice to certain situations because that was a really nice goal it was terrific Logan O'Connor with one assist and Alex Newhook with the other assist the Avs have the early one nothing lead the yes hits again we'll get to that coming up here in just a little bit and Peter you're right about that in fact, Jared Bednar said that Obey Kubel, his, he said his forecheck was simply brilliant for the side of the net, taken away by Eric Johnson. That's high praise from the coach. From coach. He let Kubel, I mean Kubel, led them, led them in hits. With hard hits, no penalties, and that's what coach loves. Long ball there, deflected down into the ice, bouncing puck, squirts right through the low slot, and then cut down was Miko Ranton in it, and he is furious. Don score. Sends it back to his own end, will go off on a change. Renton now on a four check, wants a piece of somebody. He was really, really unhappy. That puck deflects off the boards in front of the Avalanche bench. McCarr tied up as Everly ran it here. McKinnon had it poked away by Johansson. Up to the near side, McCann in a scramble with Taves. Apple lifted ahead as Burakovsky took a hit. McKinnon now. Finds Miko, and it goes. Ripped around to the near side, Lazar, and Everly able to swing it up and out. Great play by Comfort, got to wait for his teammates to get onside. And the Avs are offside, we'll take a timeout. 12.47 to go here, period number one. Nicholas Abe Kubel, first goal of the game, Avs on top, one nothing. The king of sportsbooks. You look at the numbers right here, Pete Kraken, 4-1 against the spread in their last five road games. And 17 of the Kraken's last 24 games have been over, which means a lot of goals are scored when they play. Oh, yeah. Look, that's, there's no getting around that, but Boj, this is interesting. Am I hearing what I'm hearing? Are What's we, that? They're booing. I don't know. Maybe they're saying grew. Okay. Of the two. okay yeah, I, I, I was like, because I was, I just turned around kind of and you do remember that he, you know, he had the opportunity to sign the contract and, you know, he got a good contract and as, as well he should. Every player has that right. But I think for the Colorado Avalanche, 
you know, the fans realized that, uh, boy, they, they felt they were just one snake bit play away yeah. last year. And we look at the numbers as of late for Philip Grubauer, and again, with an expansion club, I can't say that this is entirely surprising. <laughs> Byron rips that one in, but the Ball Arena Vision had highlights of both Grubauer and Don Sport from their Avalanche career, and a thank you to them. Long shot, knocked down in front, lose puck to Byron, tried to give it up, a nice play there by McCann. Maybe saved a goal as he got that stick. Right down in there, and a penalty coming up on the Avalanche, going to be an interference call, and it's going to be on Cattery. So the Kraken will get the first power play of this game. Has a little bit frustrated here in the early going. You see Jared Bednar's face. He, not really sure that he uh, enjoyed that call. No, Marshall. Cadre 91 is on him. It's nothing spectacular. I think it's the push maybe at the end when the puck wasn't there. But again, I just have to beat down my instincts when it comes to like penalties in my era. You know what? That was not a penalty. That was era. not back in the day. No, it was not. So the abs. And their penalty kill, incidentally, the Avalanche have allowed a power play goal in 20 of the games played this season. You look at the Seattle power play is 21st, and the Avs PK continues to be a work in progress, but they do win the draw, able to send it down, and here comes the breakout led by Vince Dunn. This Dunn can most he can shoot, so keep an eye on him. Here come the Kraken. On the wing is Geeky, young promising player. Dunn fumbles the puck, gives it back to Donato. He'll scramble his way toward the hash. He's back to Dunn, it goes. Now Yanni Gord, gave it back up top. Kraken staying on the perimeter. There's a long shot to save by Grubauer. The puck is into the corner. Pushed off for Taves. He'll rim it around and all the way down. You hear you said? Saved by Grubauer. <laughs> Did I really? Yes. Oh, got it, Philip. No, 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 no. That's fantastic. Are you kidding? Here comes Jordan Dano. Groovy, man. A nice save by the groupster. Yeah. Fred Sos, <laughs> of course, is back up for so long. Into the corner it goes. Set high off the glass. Jack Johnson couldn't get a piece of it. Deflected puck. And there's a save by Fred Sos as it went off a body right in front. All right, let's see what it's going to take to ensure the win. It's all presented by AAA Insurance. And well, they're off to a better start tonight already. Yeah, and then good friends return. I didn't realize they were on the team still, but <laughs> you know, it's just a matter of, you know, this is the first time the Avalanche have kind of had control of the first period. That game against Toronto, by now we're swimming upstream without, with no, with no paddle. Austin Matthews has every paddle in the in the boat. <laughs> There's one thing that the Kraken do not have, and that's a 34. Jordano. Everly finds Jordano. Now McCann, wrist shot, saved by Francois. Loose puck in the low slot. Push far side in a foot race. Jordano will win that one. Rick to the near side. McCann wants to give it back up top to his captain. That's the return pass. Cross ice to the circle with a shot. Score! Deflected in front by Johansson. Up over the pad of Francois for his throw to the season. And the Seattle Kraken with a power play goal have tied the game at one. And again, the Avalanche PK continues to be a work in progress. Well, that's the one way to put it, I guess. Is <laughs> but the idea is this, they, they, they move the puck up high really, really well. That was, you know, the man down low coming across through the, te the seam. But it's, a, it's a, not a low seam. It's a high seam, and they get it down low for a quick tip. That was a beautifully executed power play. That yeah, certainly was. And again, you see Johansson just turn that blade over a little bit and able to pop it up over the pad. And Francois, top line is now out for Jared Bednar. So Johansson with a goal. Everly with one assist, and McCann gets the other. Riley Sheehan on the far side had it knocked away. Give it up now for McCarr. He'll lead the charge to McKinnon. McKinnon sends it up top. Gerard fakes the shot. Walks it down to McKinnon. Turnaround opportunity popped right over the top of the net. Loose puck. As what far side comes to Kale. Now Gerard. Dishes off of McKinnon. Wants to try the near side. Back to Gerard it goes. And that pass was tipped away. Maybe one extra there as he tried to find Miko. Donskoy is in. Shielding with his body away from Rantanen. 
And Puck will roll far aside, kicked up the boards for Burakovsky, and he's got plenty of room to escape should he want to, and he'll sweep it up and out. A little bit of a two-on-one, and Ranthin and Dish, just a tremendous job. It was not dangerous in the least. Yeah, he kept control of yeah. Donskoy, unable to dish was Jonas Donskoy, is Blackwell. Swings it off for Gore. Pushed up, comes out of the zone, Dunn was under pressure. Now it's Comfort to find Big Val. Good to see Nachushkin back in the lineup. Big hit the far corner as Lozon and JT Comfort both crashed into the corner class and the Kraken able to steer it out. And more than halfway through period number one, the abstrike strike first on the goal by Obe Kubel. Seattle right back on the power play. Nachushkin was stripped. Here is Comfort. Flips it for Nazem Kadri. Sends it to the side of the cage as Grubauer got his paddle on that one. Kicked off. Absolutely want to get a change here soon. Seattle leading in shots on goal now, 8-5. to five. So the Avs had that, quote, better start that we were looking for. Okay. Haven't been able to build on it quite yet. Now back into the near corner. That'll force Taves to the back end on Yiki. The one thing you, you're going to notice, and it's part of the, how they attack, they, whoa, they stay on the puck. Seattle, they, they make good decisions, you know, when, when they don't have the puck. Well, if you don't have a ton of overall scoring talent and that sort of thing, Dave Axel says you got to play hard, and you're going to have to continue to play hard to keep us engaged. Johansson is back in, gives it up for Everly, who turned it to the forehand and the save by Pavel Francouz to bring the whistle and bring another timeout. we got a tie up here on the near side as Susie and O'Connor are going after it. Marcus Johansson has things even at one. Have a boat with a boat, a boat that has oh its own boat God. because it just hits all the time. And here we are. Oh, no, 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 I better. Oh, should I? I <laughs> God, we're, we're a pair of little kids. Well, you know, and I feel bad for Kiefer, too, because after he lost his new horse, you know, he just, he, I think he's a little bit shy about it. He but lost I'm telling his you. new horse? Yeah. Yeah, well, he won that one bad bet he made, the new horse that he, oh. that he was able to purchase. I just feel bad for him. <laughs> I gotta keep up with this stuff. You do. Well, you need a horse. <laughs> ah! Keeper had one for sale. All right, here is Taves. The golly, that yes just hits all the time. McKinnon working it into that cracking zone. Dishes off. McCarr to the slot. Saved by Grubauer with the blocker, and Taves will jump on it. Swung to the far side by Miko as Kale awaits. Don't back down deep. Brandon couldn't handle that one. Up the boards it comes. Ranted it. Able to dish off for Taves. McKinnon centering pass. Heaving his way now is Burakovsky. Can he get the wrister off? He can, but it's partially deflected up the boards, and it comes up and out, and a good shift by the Avs' top line and the top pair right there. Skill-wise, you don't lose much by Burakovsky moving on to this line, but it's just the idea of how that first line just gives you that presence when Landeskog's there. You're always going to miss him. Appleton with the back end. Flip. Easy save for Francois as it goes to the point and done. One timer lows on and he absolutely fanned on that one as it goes into the trapezoid. The auto cut down by Nachushkin. Here's Val. Headman bump finds Kadri as he absorbed a hit right at the red line. Offer was in pursuit. Kadri still battling on the near side. He's cut down to the ice. And a penalty coming up on the crack, and it's going to be a trip. The Avs will get their first power play of the game. Jeremy Lozon is going to go off. Tripping. Sure. Let's have, a, let's have a little look here at what's going on on this side of this hockey game. Here's a penalty. Man just takes the man down. But McKinnon and McCarr, most, the most dangerous offensive, defensive, pair in the National Hockey League, the two of them together? I think they have to be, because they're both, Pete, they're both the very best, and they're so unpredictable. And, and they they feed off each other. I, now, they're, what's interesting, they're both right-handed shots. Usually, you like to have one be a left-handed shot, one be a right-handed shot. It doesn't seem to bother them one bit. 
just seem to find each other all the time. So the abs on the power play again. It's their first of the contest. DK for the Kraken. 24th overall in the National Hockey League, as you saw. The abs power play humming right along at 45%, but that's an icing call as the pass did not connect. Well, let's take a look at these top defensemen duos in the NHL. And there you have it. This is why we continue to say not only are they great offensively and you see the numbers, but they're also both very good defensively as well. And it, to me, now you got to look at Tampa Bay. They've won two cups, so, you know, all, all, more power to them. As far as just watching two guys light it up, I like the ass guys. I do too. Here comes McKinnon now on the slingshot. Not around Gordon Franklin with a dangling move through it in the slot, but an easy turnout there by Larson. As that pass failed to find its mark. Avalanche 45 seconds into their first power play chance as Cavalry will try the left wing. Jams it far side, wide open was Ranton and Miko. Sets up Kale. Back to Ranton in the corner, McCarr. In the kitter. A dangle move. Tried to get the shot off. Crack do a good job to stay with the play, and it's whipped up and out by Don Scott all the way down the ice. So the second unit will get an opportunity. No shots on goal yet for the Abs on this power play. It's bumped for Burakovsky as he will fly into the Kraken zone. New hook had a goal in his skates, trying to stay with that one. The juice can join the mix, but it's bounced up to the point there and kicked up and out by the Kraken. Nice job by Winberg. Under 30 seconds to go. Gerard finds the wing. Sweeps that puck. Dano a two-hand shot. Went off the skate. Right to Yanni Gordon comes. And that's going to just about do it for this Avalanche power play. Again, zero shots on goal on the power play chance. And that's not exactly how you wanted to respond after the Kraken scored a power play goal of their own. Fired ahead for Nichushkin. Out of the box comes Lozon. Ripped around to the far side. Abs keep it in. On the stick of Newhook. A turnaround shot just wide. And it's popped away from Val. Gord gives it off and Dunn will settle things down as the Kraken complete a change. Gets through Everly. Eric Johnson was waiting, but Byron missed that one. Hulk in front of his own penalty box. That puck is loose to center ice. Johansson works it in. The circle, cross ice pass, bump, redirected just one. And that was great puck movement by the Kraken. Headman pass finds Helm, his head is down. Takes a hit as he lobs the puck in. It goes into the netting. It will take a break. 3.56 to go, period number one. We are all knotted up at one. This is the new banquet bar between sections 136 and 138, and enjoy a course banquet room only in Golden, Colorado since 1873. These lucky fans have been upgraded to the banquet bar Golden Seats thanks to Coors Banquet, proud partner with your dollar. To buy the Ball Corporation and we talk about Devon Taves and the kind of year that he's having. I don't know if people even believe us, Pete. They don't. They absolutely don't. All I ever get is, are you talking too much about him? I said, how many games he played? I don't know, 35? 20. <laughs> Look, read, under, you know. And the thing about it is the team just plays. When he and, and McCarr are out there, oh, it, it is, it's magical at times how quickly they move the puck, how they read off each other, how they make big plays, simple plays. And they get, they, they'll come up with big goals. Also smart defensively, Jerry Bednar with high praise for that top pair. And it, of course, especially Devon Taves in terms of always makes the right decision with the puck. His own, scoots it for Dunn. Carr tried to pinch on the far side. Donato desperately tries to clear and does. Alfred Kale. Lead pass on the stick of Cat. Awesome Cat could not get that shot off as the puck just got off the end of his blade. A quiet ball arena here tonight. Especially in comparison to two nights ago. Fired ahead, McKinnon's off the bench. Turns it on net. A kick save by Rubauer as that one's fed off the boards and out. 
Matt Johnson on the near side, crashed into by Geeky, and the Avs will change up. What do you think Grubauer would say to the Kraken about McKinnon and or the top, the top line? Uh, Obviously. Be careful. <laughs> but is there something that he ever saw? On Stroy, leaving his way in. Oh, I'm sure, Pete, all the times in practice, every shot he saw, given up by the abs as Burakovsky had bounced that down low and the abs were able to get it out but that was a very dangerous play went back in it eluded Pavel Francos no more to be perfectly honest the abs are back playing that loosey-goosey hockey that we're used to seeing over the course of early parts of these last five games yeah everybody seems sort of just a little bit uh that's what I'm looking for off right now well then I think the idea is that that last game was just so crackerjack. And you were you were in big trouble that game. You did not the ante. And when he did, oh he can't manufacture that emotion. Byron had McCann on him. He got knocked down. Kraken with a puck. Everlin sends it in front looking for Johansson. And he was tied up by Bowen Byron who recovered. Bow's got it now, dumps it into the Kraken zone of McDermott. Steaming on Susan. Up it comes for Johansson. He'll turn it up the boards and out it comes. Less than two minutes now to go in period number one. It's a 1 1 hockey game. Ad struck first. And the Kraken get even on the power play. Saves to McKinnon. Needs it ahead for Rantanen. Tried to go back to McKinnon. And the Kraken read that play very, very well. Again, the four check is key to Seattle's success. Miko back in. Tried a little shimmy move around Dunn, who stayed right with him and made a very good play. That was terrific support by Seattle. Not out of the zone, though, as Taves. Gives it for McKinnon. He'll dangle down deep. A poke check by Dunn. Lose puck. And Seattle's got it. Lazan to the red line. Works his way in from his deep position and could not get the shot off from Kale McCall. Head off for Rantanen. Couldn't get it out of the zone. Kraken want to change in the worst kind of way. Now Taves. Back in center ice, McKinnon. Into the zone for Taves. Drop pass, a little bit too fancy there. He could have shot that puck. It's another turnover off the stick of Donato. It goes. You love the unselfish nature of things, but again, Avs had a chance there with 40 seconds now left in this period. Cadry takes command. Challenged, and down he goes. Gerard just inside of his line. Bats it ahead for Burakovsky. High off the glass goes Grubauer, and it eludes Byram out of the zone. There's Burakovsky to find his defenseman. Up for Kadrick. Can he have to get one more shot off? Larson with a good challenge on the near side. Hawk is eaten right at the hashes with two to go and one, and that will do it for the first period of play here at Ball Arena. It's a 1 1 hockey game, but I would say the word I would use so far a little bit uninspired. It was better early than it was late. Things seemed to calm down. There were some good plays early. I thought there was some good jump, but then it kind of established that we're waiting for you to get the game going. Absolutely. At the end of one period of play here at Ball Arena, it's the Avalanche one and the Seattle Kraken one. And you're watching Colorado Avalanche hockey on altitude. Coming up after the break, stay tuned. You've got Kyle and Riker in JML. They've got highlights and much, much more with the intermission reports. Downtown Denver, second meeting of the year between the Kraken and the Avalanche. The Avs, seven goals first time they met tonight. Just one. We'll get there. Six minutes in, that third line is out there, and Newhook has got wheels, and he's got O'Connor. They hook up, and Abe Kubel says, I'll do the rest. What a play by Newhook, folks. Watch him come to the center of the ice, hang on to that puck, challenge the defenseman, causes chaos. Everybody's got to go in and help, and then Logan O'Connor, beautiful pass across the Newhook there. LOC kind of catches him in, but he gets it, and Abe Kubel back in the net. Workmanlike goal by the third line. Great way to start this game. The one sore spot, or at least topic for the Avs right now, is the penalty kill. 28th in the National Hockey League. Here they take a penalty and they get beat. It's Marcus Johansson right in front. Yeah, the penalty kill needs to find their swagger, find their mojo, find their something, because everything is going against them. Big changes in right here. Look at this one-touch pass. That's pretty sweet. 
Shot on it, you got a man all alone. That deflection, that is unstoppable. That puck went from 40 miles an hour down to two. Nothing Franzos can do. Nice looking jersey. But that's all I can say. Oh, uh, OK. So a couple times, Riker, we've seen the Avs kind of come through the circles. Maybe a few too many passes. They had some scoring opportunities, but they didn't take them. This seems to be the new MO. Hey, guys, whatever you do in the first period, do not shoot the puck. We don't like scoring chances. We don't want any rebounds. Make at least 14 passes. And on the 15th one, then take the shot. So, so far, they've only hit about 10, 11. They haven't even got to 14, but it's every period. Every game, the first period, they get pretty. And then they go inside and go, okay, what are you doing, guys? Yeah. Then they come out and start getting an onslaught of shots and take over the game. So either way, just another pretty period. Five or six good scoring chances. Decided to make the extra pass. Not going to work. Yeah. Well, time to put on the uh, the boots and the hard hats. Grab the lunch pail. Uh, let's go to work. Come on, 20 shots, and you're going to bury him in this period. All right, we'll step aside. Up next, more on the first period here from Ball Arena. We're in a tight one. 1-1 one, one with the Kraken. The goals were knotted at one. Hey, everybody here at Cronky Sports want to continue to support all those impacted by the Marshall fires. You can help just by scanning that QR code on your screen for ways to donate and help those affected by this terrible tragedy, local businesses, homes. You can also text the Red Cross and the Salvation Army with the num numbers shown right there on the screen as well if you want to help out and donate. We appreciate it. All right, up next, we will chat with Nicholas Abe Kubel, plus an update on our pregame bets. 20 minutes, 1 1. Of the year for the guy they call Knack, O'Connor, and Newhook, also with the assist. Right now, here's Rachel with Nicholas Abe Kubel. So Obey, a little bit of tic-tac-toe action there from that third line. Coach Bednar said your forecheck, your game overall, was brilliant Saturday night. What's working for you right now? Uh, I don't know. It's going to be intense. Uh, and a uh, good bounce will come to you uh, on, that, uh, on that last goal. Uh, we had a shift, uh, long shift in our D zone. And then uh, when we, once we got the puck, we went in the O zone and uh, scored. So we got to just uh, capitalize on those bounces. And a great work there from the line as a whole. Logan O'Connor, Alex Newhook, and yourself. What is that chemistry like right now? Uh, I really like playing with those guys. They're so fast. Uh, it's Yeah. I mean, they're a really good player. Uh, yeah, they're fun to play with. Thank you so much, Obey. Good luck here in the middle frame. Thank you. All right, here's an update on tonight's points bet minute. We only got a goal, so we got some work to do. McKinnon and Ranson in each to score, hopefully. Second period is a charm. McCarr with a couple of points. I took McCarr just any point. Plus, I'm giving those odds. And then the money line. Woo. Yeah, let's go. So, Rekha, that brings me to my point. We've had some dramatic wins here. There was the 4 1 win, there was the 7 1 win. The other night, Devon Taves. Got to get some energy going here right now. Yeah, that period stunk. The Avalanche were not sharp. They missed passes. They had an icing on a power play. You're going to score seven goals, but come out and do it. Don't even think about losing this game. You got a President's Trophy, you got home ice advantage. These are the games you have to win. Wait till you go into Calgary and some other hostile environments into Nashville tomorrow. Those are tougher wins. But at home, you won 11 in a row. Come on, come out and play like the best team in the NHL. Not that period there. They sunk to Seattle's level. And if you do that, you can't win any hockey yeah. game. So they're still going to score seven. Let's get on the horse. Let's get it. Well, you go from Toronto, really good. Yes. All the flashy Big emotional names, game, right. right? Back to Seattle. So be a pro. Raise the level. Let's go. Yeah. Win this game and get it on now. You, you think that there's some conversations right now in the locker room that says, okay, guys, that's yeah. enough of that. They tapped us right into the locker room again. It just got word. Oh, good. So they're ready. Good. Yeah. Hi, Hi guys. <laughs> Come on, guys. Go get it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching the intermission report. Abs and the Kraken second period is next. Since 1978. Seattle in town for the only time this season. Back inside Ball Arena with Peter Bingdab. I'm Mark Mosier. The Abs and Kraken tied at one as we get ready for period number two. And one thing Seattle is making sure of, Peter, Nathan McKinnon does not go in to kill them tonight. Well, Nathan McKinnon, you watched last game, 12 shots on goal. He was everywhere. But every time you see the puck for Seattle, one guy's going at him, and then another guy's going at him. They are really making it hard for him to make any of those really quick, sort of deadly plays that he can make. 
and they've done a nice job. And they got to get full marks for that first period defensively. And you asked me maybe what Grubauer would tell his teammates. Yeah. And that's it. Do not give this guy space because he will make you look silly. So they've had extra special attention on number 29 here tonight. And here we go. McKinnon is out with Ranson and Borkowski, who's in Landeskog's spot this evening. The car saves in the back end. Seattle wins the draw to begin period number two. Here are the Geico stats for bundling made easy. Go to Geico.com. Long back ahead by McKinnon. That missed everything. The car chased by Johan. It comes up the horn. Turn around. Shot went right into Devontae's gut. That's a shot saved by Francois. Larson steered it toward the slot and it never got through to the front of the avalanche net. And now the Avs a little bit disjointed in their own zone. That one comes up and out. Borakovsky had a stick shot. Rams that puck length wide, but the Avs will need a change. And again, when the top line spins their first shift to the second period inside their own zone, it's not where you want them to be. Girard. Lead pass right to Kadri. Bodied off that puck and a good play by the Kraken. Fed to the near side as Girard had cut in. Steers it off. Bowen Byron settles the puck down. Was run at by Yarnfield. Gives it back now for Comfort. Wrist shot. Save. Actually, I'm sorry. It did not get to Grubauer. It was cut down by the Kraken. And Susie, and he's got it. And the Abzone, Andy Gore. That is swept away. Yarnfield chopped at that puck. Goes off the skate. Ripped off for Jordan. Oh, and a bomb there. Missed the net. And he got a lot of that one. All the way to the point for Oleksiak, and he tied up Kadri trying to get out of the zone, and a penalty is coming up on the Kraken. It's going to be an interference call, and when Jamie Oleksiak wants to step in front of you, Pete, at 6'7 and 260, he's you're going to be able to do it. You're stepped in front of him. No question about it. Seattle, number 24, two minutes for interference. And so there you have it. The Avs will get their second power play of the game, and Steve Kazari makes that call. All of these guys, obviously, the majority of them, come through the expansion draft. I was surprised Alexia was, was available. I, you know, every, every team had to make decisions. Every team had to make tough decisions. But he is big, tough, physical. I think for Seattle, they were thrilled. But the Avs did not have a shot on goal in their first power Seattle play opportunity. Number 24. So they could turn it around to now, uh, tonight and right now especially. Sent back into the Avs zone. Walk up the boards. Drop it off now for McKinnon. He'll spin away from the forecheck and Riley Sheehan the best he can. Hale McCarr. Feeds it ahead. McKinnon had to go off his blade. He'll chug after that puck on Lars. Wrapped up the boards, and it hops through McCarr. And I'm going to have to turn on the Jets. It's Don Scorey. Close the gap quickly. Here's Kale. Again for Kadri. Mavs want to get set up with the top unit. Have not been able to do it quite yet. Now they are. JT Comfort spinning away. Seeking refuge behind the net. Kadri on the far side. Kale. Pumps it. Shot stopped from his far side. Quick shot by Kadri and a save by Grubauer. Got his blocker on it. Watch out that Brecken can get numbers. Yanni Gord is in. He's got Dunsko in the slot. And his stick was lifted at the last second by Ranton. And the Avs try to turn the favor the other way. McKinnon to Kadri. Far side. Dunked in front. And Nachushkin could not get the redirect away from the stick of Miko Ranton. And then the rest of the second unit will come onto the ice. One shot on goal so far. The Avs down to... 35 seconds to go in this power play. And for Natushkin, it's great to see him back in the lineup. How healthy is he going to be? What is what is that injury that kept him out of the lineup? Yeah, they said it was an aggravation of a previous one. He had a wrist injury, yeah. of course. And he's going to be a little bit rusty. Here is Burakovsky. Power play down to the final 15 seconds. He blew a tire and fell down. Kicked up to the point for Taves. Burakovsky back on his skates, but limping a little bit. Seems to be okay. Power play time running out. Quick centering pass, and that's shoveled over the top of the net by Nuha. Out of the box comes Alexiak as the Kraken turn it ahead. It's Yarnfrog. Callie Yarnfrog with a centering pass, and his shot now flucked it up into the net as Taves recovered just in time on Winberg. Well, one of the things we talk about, and it's it's so impressive, is Mika Ranton, four assists the other night. 
I mean, you you can be a little lax defensively. He never is. Look at this. I mean, that's just a really good defensive play. If he doesn't make make that play, Donskoy walks in and maybe he gets you know makes it two to one. But he is a hound dog coming back. Just that little baby stick lift yeah. right there at the right time. Tyson Schultz leading in to take the draw. Here's Kiki leading in for Seattle. That really wide, but couldn't win it for them. Schultz finds Logan O'Connor. Trapped just inside the line, and we have a whistle and an offside play. Hey, come join the Colorado Mammoth for the most tropical night of the season. The Loud House giving fans a little taste of summer with a beach party on January 29th as the Mammoth take on the Vancouver Warriors. Dust off those flip-flops, throw on some board shorts, and break out those Hawaiian shirts for a showdown on the turf. Just go to coloradomammoth.com for your tickets today. And that sounds like a perfect Peter McNabb. Oh, if, you if, are the king of flip-flops. If, if I can make it, I got 50 shirts anyway to, to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've seen them probably all at one point or another in my lifetime. And you and your shorts, I tell you. It's not pretty, but you know, that's the way it goes. It's about comfort. Built for comfort, not for speed. Donato just threw it up a teammate's leg. Great stop there by Fran. So is at point blank range. Larson with a long wrist or deflected wide, and that hit Donato in the glove. He was shaking his hand. Seems to be okay. He's stripped by Tyson Jost, and now Appleton wants to body up. The last time these two teams met was back on November 19th in Seattle. The Abs blew out the Kraken by a final score of 7-3. The tempo of this game tempered down certainly from that one. The car saw Everly coming. Score! A shot from McCann at the hashes. He just fired it to the front of the net and it somehow eluded Pavel Fransos to give the Kraken a 2-1 lead for McCann. That'll be his 14th of the season and he caught everyone by surprise. Caught him by surprise. But why? He just threw it through traffic to the front of the net. But did it hit something? Puck comes across. Oh, no, it just leaks through, I think. It went through the legs of McKinnon. Yeah. Right up top. Okay, now the avalanche. You know, you go back to these last four wins that they've had most, and they're very impressive. Game winning goal against Anaheim. 58 minute mark. Chicago overtime. Winnipeg 27 minute mark. They won that one handily. And then last game again in overtime. 60 plus minutes. So they're not running away with games. Branson gives it back to McKinnon. He stripped, gets it back and shoots. It's not flicking over the top. Miko tried to push it off the side of the cage as he was stood up there by Alexia. So McCann, unassisted goal at 4.49. Again, his 14th of the year as the Kraken on top, 2-1. to one. Interesting stat this season. This is the Avs' third back-to-back -back of the year. And they'll play many more coming up here. But in game one of the back-to-backs this season, the Avs are 0-2. In game two of the back-to-backs, they're 2-0 which is counterintuitive. Cattery down the slot with it, and it hit Gerard on the backside and ricocheted wide. Sent up top by Chushka. Good stick there by Donskoy as Francois flies out the play. Six minutes into period number two. Bracken with a 2-1 lead. Turnover by Cattery. Donskoy is right back in through traffic. Susan jammed it off the skate. Easy flag down there for Gerard. Ahead for Cadre to the circle with a shot. Kick save by Grubauer, and it's pounded up and out. Abs complete the change in the back end as Eric Johnson brings it in. But the Abs are offside as they couldn't get through the door and off the ice. Jared McCann from the near side boards makes it a 2-1 game. out there stats you can find just about anything this one right here 
is almost mind blowing. The Avalanche in points per game, they got the one, three, five, and seven spot in the entire league. Look at some of those names Connor McDavid, Dreisaitl, Ovechkin. But how about number three, guys? Nazem Kadri right there at 1.57. That is insane what the Avs are doing right now. It really is as the Avs bring it in. Drop pass intended for McDermott. A turnaround chance saved by Grubauer and it got off his blocker to the far side. Thank you, Kiefer. We'll get back to that momentarily. Long wrist shot never got through. Cut down by the crack and turnover. Slip through new hook, though. Push to the far side. On it is Gore. Challenged by Obe Kubel. The Avs have six players, Pete, averaging a point a game or better. That's tops in the National Hockey League, and they have a few others hovering right around that mark or just under that mark. And that's incredibly impressive. Well, Moj, it's, it's why the last game against Toronto, it's 3 nothing, 4 1, and there was no offensive panic. It wasn't like, well, we've never done this before. We can't come back in a situation like this. Of course, might be against the best. Right now, though, the Seattle Kraken have the lead as McCarr laid a lick on Geeky. Dished off to Kale. Crown really reacted to that one. Now Appleton hits McCarr, puck back to the. Seattle zone. McKinnon turns it up top now for King. Walks in. McCarr shoots. Deflected and it never got through. And that stung Susie in front. Cut down by Tapes. Abs don't play that puck. Would have been too many men. Appleton now. Scoots it deep. Waiting Donato. At the point. Larson reverses it. Picked off by Kale McCarr. He'll find the glass in an angry fashion. Given off for McKinnon, weaving his way down the slot, stood up and ridden off by Giordano. You don't see that very often. That was really well done by Giordano. He's back into the place and he passes it. A save by Fransos on the one timer by McKinnon, who got a lot on it. Bumped up ice by the Abs, but good back checking there by the Kraken. They had four guys flying back to their own blue line to take it away. Most Seattle knows this is the kind of game that they have to play, have to stay with, have to try to win. Seattle back to the near side with it. Here's Logan O'Connor, who is waiting. Slips it through Alexiak and gives chase. Matushkin shows up on the scene. Cadbury pumps it to the top of the circles, but nobody home. Done. For the find Wenberg. Abs misplayed that one. Done. Walking in. Cross ice shot. What a save by Fred Souls. My goodness. Dumped off by Sheehan. Tipped out in front. Loose puck and it comes to Gerard. And Pavel Fred Souls just made a brilliant save to keep this a 2 1 game. Wow. Moj, when that went across, I went, okay. Now we're down by two. And he just flies across. That's what was flashing through my brain as well, Pete. Donskoy on the move, picked up by Byram and rubbed right off. Bowen Byram's use of his body since his return from injury has been superb. Here comes Newhook in. Wanted to scoot it off for Borakovsky, but again, you see the cracking defensive play. Everybody just collapsing upon the puck carrier. Chopped away, another turnover. Yarn Crook is in. Wants to dish off, and a great play by McCarr. A sliding back pump check. Abe Kubel eluded a man, flips that puck through center ice. Abs sitting on 11 shots on goal in this game, only two in this period. Nathan McKinnon had 12 shots on goal in Saturday night's game against Toronto alone. Miko Rentnin is cut down in the neutral zone as Donato gets away from the back check. Tried to feed it off. Abs take a swing at that puck, turned off a couple of bodies. It's gloved out of the slot and picked up by McKinnon. And here he comes. Nathan McKinnon down the left wing. A scissor move through the top of the circles. Gives it off into the slot. Oh. And Obey Kubo was stripped. Up top, McKinnon, one timer. Say by Grubauer. Rebound, McKinnon slides it in front. Say by Grubauer and he'll jump on top. McKinnon got cut down. Grubauer's got the puck and will take a timeout. 9.15 to go in the second period. It's still a 2-1 Kraken lead. Toyota stores donate $100 to youth hockey. And tonight, we feature the Boulder Hockey Club 14 and under double A team. They currently sit in third place with a 7-5-1 record in Kaha League play. 
One of their players' families lost their home in the Boulder fires, uh -huh. and all of his hockey equipment has been replaced through Toyota, the Abs, and Pure Hockey. Fantastic. To learn more about youth hockey in Colorado, please visit co.hockey. Well, for Nathan McKinnon, what he's trying to do is drag everybody along. You take McKinnon out of the equation here offensively, and the Avalanche really aren't doing a whole lot. But McKinnon is he's driving, he's getting the puck, he's getting the opportunities. And sooner or later, it's just going to be too much because he is, I mean, Mosh, when he's going like this, something's going to happen. It looked like he got tripped at the end there as Lausanne got that left skate into his right skate and knocked him on his tail. No call, though. Branson leaning into the circle. This is typically where your Gabe Landeskog would take that draw sure. in that far circle. And the linesman continues to jaw. He's kicking Branson out of the faceoff. McKinnon has a quick conversation with Burakovsky. Abs with only four shots on goal in this period. The Kraken have five. Off the draw, shot wide by Burakovsky. That's what McKinnon was talking about. Said, be ready, it's coming right to you. Spun around the boards, Everly challenged by Burakovsky again. McKinnon had it poked away. Set through Girard, he comes up and out of the zone. A little bit of a hot potato there. Cosm Cattery and Nathan McKinnon have eight combined shots tonight. The rest of the team with only five. So it shows you where the heavy lifting has been coming from. Everly just bangs it up and out. An easy icing call for the linesman. Let's go back to the faceoff. You know, as you said, Landeskog takes a lot of the draws for the Avalanche. Left-handed draw, the, the faceoff to the right of the goaltender. That's very, very common, that left-handed guy. But, you know, as you mentioned it, he just keeps coming. 29. You know, that there's not a lot going on right now. The Avalanche are down by a goal. Half boards. Notice this. It's not this three goals, four assists nights. It's these nights that make you an MVP. Absolutely. And just making that one play. Yep. Now we'll choose to get to the point with it. Taves will find McCarr. A shimmy move and a shot. Off the glass it goes. Hadley left his luggage at the train station there, and the crack it able to send it up and out. Approaching eight minutes to go here in period number two. An outlet pass was broken up by Seattle, but pushed ahead by Kale. Abs cannot get it deep as Susie turns it right back out. Donato had it banged away. Chipped off. Here's Geeky. Morgan Geeky down deep in front, and he couldn't quite get it to the tape of Appleton in time. That could have been a goal for Seattle. Abs may have gone one there. Banged up for Susie. At the point, Larson. Nowhere to go but back down low. Geeky knocked himself down on the near side. Up to the point again, Susie. Finds the inboard. Loose puck into the slot where McCarr will send it off the glass and out. Good shift by the Kraken right there. Outlet finds Don Scoy. Hustles his way into the zone and pokes it wide of the net. Stuffed by Jost, it's loose, she has got it. Now Don's going through the trapezoid. Don, off the leg and wide. Abs caught chasing in their own end here a little bit. McCarr and Dave's have been out there for an awfully long time. Even though the Abs were able to clear it recently, they couldn't get the change on the back end. Finally they can, as Copper's able to push it to the crack and zone. That puck goes right off of JT Comfer to the point it's fed for Jack Johnson. Finds Aaron Johnson. The cover with a bomb and a save by Grubauer. He flashed out and cut down that angle. This is Jack Johnson hovering. Now to EJ. A long wrist shot never got through. Out of the quarter. New hook, a turnaround shot. Very crafty, but a save by Grubauer. Abs keep it alive to Jack Johnson. Feeds EJ in the far side. He'll turn that puck into the bottom of the circle. Shoot, save by Grubauer, battles it away. Tyson Jones couldn't quite get it behind the cage, and out comes Seattle. Lindbergh will dump it in and give chase himself. 
Six minutes to go in the second. Off the bench is Blackwell. Quick shot there and a save by Francois as Jordano let it fly. Ab still find themselves at the wrong end of a 2-1 score. Most expansion franchises. What's the biggest comparison that we should look at? Record? Uh, how they're e e working their way into the uh, the fabric of the, the franchise is working its way into the city. Well, they've been obviously very well received in Seattle. Right. Every game massively sold out. People love the team up there. Pete, I don't know that you can make a comparison just because Vegas, I mean, they went to the Stanley Cup final in their inaugural season. Yeah. I mean, Mo, I could write a, a thesis on how impossible that was. No, I wouldn't do that. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what's interesting. Oh, it's sitting up top. Alexia, well, yeah, thesis. Score! It was deflected by Colin Blackwell, who pops it past the glove hand of Francois, and all of a sudden, the Kraken have a 3 1 lead. Oh, boy. Puck goes back to the point. Now, this is one of those plays with the big guy, Francois, is a right handed catching. Goaltender and the puck just kind of dips down below. It's interesting because it looked like it went into the ice straight down and then bounced and then, off the pad. And then, yeah. yeah, and then just dropped up in behind. Now, th Mosh, this is the kind of goal that is great for Seattle. And they're saying, okay, guys, we're not winning a lot of games. Groovy's got, you know, this is a game for Groovy right now. That's really play hard for him. It was a really, really good. An actual double deflection is what it was. Colin Blackwell able to pound that puck into the ice and get it to ricochet back up. Alexia with the first assist. Gord with the second assist. It goes back to Grubauer. By the way, very few players can do that on purpose. You just touch it and you, you know you get what you get. Gord. I'll tell you this too, Pete, when you're talking about the expansion. That's a little turnover. Hit the head. I think every general manager in the National Hockey League learned from the Vegas expansion. And they were saying to themselves, we are not going to let that happen again. Sent far side. Now centering pass. Oh, but Kubel had it tipped away. He's got the abs only goal tonight. The abs led 1 nothing at the 550 mark of the first period. His third of the year, but they have nothing to show for it since. That first goal really hasn't come in too handy in this uh, first five games for the Avs. Gerard was cross-checked out of the ice by Giordano. Cavries into the mix. Off the boards he comes. Turns it back down through Byron. Here's Big Val. Pinned along the end boards by Giordano. Veteran defenseman still holding on to the Chushkin who walks at that puck. Tip through Cavri. It's a foot race as Donskoy has it on the backhand. He's chopped down. The physical play starting to pick up. Cavri cut to the ice. Logan O'Connor takes a hit. Off the bench is Jost. Stick handles into the trapezoid. Abs completing their change. Gerard feeds it off for Byron. Up top for Jost. Ran right into traffic. Had to give it up. Byron with a long wrist shot. Same rebound. It's smothered by Grubauer as he puts his catching glove right on top. Well, if there's been one difference so far offensively, the Avs and Seattle have both had a fair number of shots at the net. And the Avs have not, you know, deflected the puck as well as Seattle. Seattle has made a couple of really nice deflections, nice plays. So the number one deflector is out of the lineup in COVID protocol. Listen, Gabe Landeskog is so good at it in so many different ways. And when you miss 92, you miss more than just his play. I mean, the words that he would say. McKinnon with a one timer wide of the net. Sorry about that, Pete. No, between periods would not be, you know, printable, but I'm sure he would have everybody's attention. Danny Gord drops it off. McKinnon made that play. He's able to sweep it away from Blackwell. Here's Miko. Jousting with the arm crook. Blackwell staying with it. Dumb by Dunn over the glass and into the stands on the near side. Well, Avalanche fans, game time means it's mountain time, and if you're with us here tonight, it must be game time. So get your mitts on a case of this cold, crushable lager. 
there should be a mountain time in your hand. Well, I love this, Pete. You look at the history of hockey in Seattle. You know, I was around, you see 58 to 75? That's when my dad was in New Westminster and Vancouver in the old Western Hockey League. And the totems were arch, arch rivals. And, you know, I would go down with that. We would bust down, go across the border. It was, like, so cool. That's probably a big trip for a little kid. Burakovsky sweeping in, shoots. What a kick save. Rebound, score! Grubauer made the first save, but he could not make the second save. Nicholas Albay Kubel with his second goal of the night. And the Abs get back within one. It's now a 3-2 game. Burakovsky was the one to pressure the issue. Yep, I, I was wondering he'd stay on side, absolutely. And then he just stayed with it. 16 right here. Pump set at once. It's going in. And for the Colorado Avalanche, with three minutes to go in this second period, that is huge. That's every bit as big a goal as McCarr's goal last year, last game that made it four to two against Toronto. That pinballing puck eventually went off a cracking player and by Grubauer. The Avs will take it. Nicholas Obey Kubel has all the goals for the Avs tonight. Turnover. New hook couldn't get it to the four, and Burakovsky can. And we have a oh, Here we go. The Avs are going to be shorthanded. It's going to be a hook on Nicholas Obey Kubel. So he scores two goals tonight and then draws, or then I should say takes a penalty. Driving towards the net. We've seen a lot of the goals in tonight's game, guys. Just finding that puck in around the crease, in around the scoring area. There haven't been, by any stretch of the imagination, the fancy dancy plays we saw last game. Well, the Avs have to be good here. Because as they had the puck in the Kraken zone, Obe Kubel went into the corner and got the stick around the waist of Giordano. And it didn't seem like that big of egregious uh, a play there, Pete, but here it is. Somebody said a weak call. I said, really? I, that's, <laughs> yes, I would agree. Not the stick on the hip, but that's about it. <laughs> Seattle on the night is one eight, 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 for eight, one eight, on the eight, power eight, play. Eight, 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 eight. To turn down to the top of the crease where it's gloved by Francois. And again, we talk about this avalanche penalty kill coming into tonight's contest. 28th in the NHL, 29th at home. They've now allowed a power play goal in 21 games this season. That's second worst of the NHL behind Arizona. Yeah, and, and no matter how you paint it, at some point it is really going to hurt. It, ha it has to get better. Yarn in the far circle. Given up by Taves as Johansson got a stick on. Swung to the point in Eberle. And that by Nachushkin. It's good to have Val Nachushkin though back into the lineup. Centering pass deflected away by Yarn Quick shot by Eberle and that missed the net. McCann funnels it straight away. Long wrist shot up for Barry Johnson. He'll backhand it up and all the way down. Yeah, it's tough for us to figure. You like Johnson? Caves is very good, it seems, at killing the penalties. Kachushkin, Jost, Comper. Logan O'Connor's got four short-handed points this season. He's on the ice. Right, it, it, but somehow it's just not working right now. Well, Hanson to Eberle. The puck skipped through everyone. Good job by Jack Johnson. He wastes no time. Left off by Grubauer. Kraken second unit coming on. Down to a minute to go on the penalty to Obe Kubel. Yanni Gore sends it up ice off Donato. Now it's Gore tipping it through the trapezoid. Abs get to it. Steered up for O'Connor. He'll work it through center ice. Turns on the Jets to the forehand with a shot saved by Grubauer. And he was almost crossed up by the kid. Donato flies back in, gives it into the slot, and Appleton runs right into Franco's, and a penalty coming up on the Kraken, and now we have some pushing and shoving. Everybody getting angry down there. O'Connor and Gort still going at it along the end glasses. The linesman Alfonso tries to separate them. Well, there's going to be a penalty, no question about that, on Seattle. But what's going to be tacked on? Yeah, exactly. That's the question. There's O'Connor. He 
He's had a very adventurous couple of weeks and the abs return to action. As we look at the replay here, Marsh, I can make you a case that 13 and 25 are the two most valuable players the Avalanche had as they move forward. They were they were third and fourth line players. They are now second and third line players. Brennan Saad was that player that they wanted to sign. 4.5 million. Nope, it wasn't going to work. Donsko, 4.1 million. No, nope, it wasn't going to work. So they were able to use these guys, and now they've been excellent at total 3.5. So now you've got about $6 million towards a cap that's moving at closer and closer to the to the trade devil. Huge, huge for the Avalanche. Yeah, so Joe Sackick will have some options financially yes. should he want to exercise that. Well, a lot of uh, minor penalties have been handed out after Appleton ran into Philip Grubauer. You see now the motion. Philip Grubauer, and again, I did it, Pete. Yeah. Pavel Francouz. <laughs> I love it. Um, you look at this game, completely different than the other games for the Avalanche. The Avalanche, the 4-2 game against Anaheim. Boy, they had to come back in that game. That was a pretty in interesting hockey game. Chicago overtime, the big play by McCarr. Winnipeg, they dominate last game. And now you've got a game that's really just like you're grinding out, you're grinding out. Now, if they can find a win way to win this one, that's 5-0, and, oh, and you've won a, a games in every possible way. A four on four here for another 25 seconds. Gerard shimmies his way up top, sends it down the slot. Susie got a stick on that one before he got to Grubauer. Again, two minor penalties on Seattle, one on the edge. And in 10 seconds, Obe Grubauer is going to be out of the box. Out of the ice, McKinnon. Out of the ice, Ranton. Girard. Drops it off for McKinnon. The abs are on the power play. Here's McKinnon up the middle. That puck squirts right through to Miko. Got poke check, but he'll find Bowen Byron. Byron uses his legs, created separation. McKinnon down low for Miko. Challenge by Susie. It's wrapped up to the point, and here's Byron. Swings it off for Kale McCarr as he walks the line. Challenge was McCarr. Finds Miko down deep, and the Kraken right now are everywhere on this PK. Time winding down, 25 to go in the period. McKinnon saucers it up and Kale. Feeds it off for Byram. Can the Avs get one more good kick at the can? Byram into the circle. Sends it right through Ranton into the rim up and comes out of the zone. Oh, man. Flung ahead for McKinnon. Wants to spring himself, but picked up there by Lozon. Just three seconds to go in the period, and that will do it here at Ball Arena. McCarr can't get the shot off. So the Avs will have 38 seconds to go on the power play when we begin period at number three. But until then, they've got to think about trailing after 40 minutes of hockey to Seattle. And what did we say that when they played against um, Anaheim? They had, they had never trailed in one. Well, they, now they've done that. They know that this has been amazing four games. They know they can come back from down 3 nothing, that down going into third period. Other team scores the first goal. All of these things, they've worked. Absolutely. After two periods of play here at Ball Arena, it's the Kraken 3 and the Abs 2. You're watching Avalanche Shock at Altitude. After the break, stay tuned. Kyle Riker and JML have it all for you with the Toyota Intermission Report. Well, kind of a choppy game here tonight. Kraken doing a good job of containing this high-powered Avalanche offense. Right now, they got the lead. 3-2 with just 20 minutes to go here at Ball Arena. All right, so not a great start to the second period. Kraken just taking what the Avs giving them. Jared McCann, watch this shot from a ridiculous angle. And Frankie can't find it, and it's 2-1. The puck has eyes right here. That's why you throw everything on net. What the Avalanche aren't doing is what that goal was, Kyle. Just throw it on net and good things happen. And the Avs are still just not putting it up towards the net. Well, 10 minutes later, more from Seattle. Colin Blackwell. He's just going to head to the net, and Alexiak up top finds him, and he's right there for the redirect. It's 3-1. Great deflection right here. This is what the Avs love to do. Throw it on net. There's the green. Look at that. That is down and up and over. No chance for Kubel. Everything tonight has been a deflection for Seattle, and they're really just kind of taking it to the Avs because the Avs are flat. 
They're rusty. They're not into the game, not getting shots on net. And I'm a little bit worried. Well, they would climb back here. It's a greasy goal. And it's going to be Abe Kubel just heading to the net, rebound, and he gets it to go for his second of the night. Okay, case of point. Look how simple this is. Stay on side. Great job right there. Throw it on net, get the rebound, and boom. Abe Kubel, right spot at the right time. Nice to see him chipping in, setting it up for the All Stars to win this game for the Avs. That was a big goal right there in the game. Keith. Yeah, this, you're at a point now where you know you just got 20 minutes. You're not going to, you know, you're not going to put the hammer on these guys. You got to find a way to dig deep. The goals that we've seen, that's how they've came. And if we know Philip Grubauer, give him under 25 shots in a game, you're, you're in one. I mean, he's going to yeah. save ball. When he was with the Avs, so many games, they didn't let other teams get over 25 shots. Grubauer was phenomenal, but it's when he gets north of that 30, then things start to happen. He gets a little tired. He gets out of his crease a little bit. Some rebounds happen. I'm telling you, Kyle, if they do not get 20 shots in the third period, they may not win this game. I think I'd 20. be saying that forever. 20 shots is too much. Yep. You're going to get lucky breaks. You're going to score two or three goals in this period. But I, I mean, I've never seen so much lack of shot potential by these guys. They're holding off on everything. Yeah. How's that for English? <laughs> I had to dig it out a little bit there, but I found it. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I knew you, I knew you were lost. Johnny's got it. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't know where you were going. We'll talk to Johnny about that sentence. Dramatic finish. We got a one goal hockey game with just 20 minutes to go right now. It's the Kraken over the Abs. 3-2. Here's Johnny's Wine Cave. Get ready. It's time for the savings event of the year. The Home and Auto Bundle Extrava Festa save -thon. And this. Kids out there and so intermissions may be questionable, but the game that you've seen so far, Riker was, was sure the Avs were going to come out like gangbusters and put seven on Seattle, but so far that's not what we've seen. What have you seen so far? Yeah, I, I was kind of hoping the Avs were going to come out get, like gangbusters as well, and it just uh, just hasn't happened. Seattle's done a really great job of clogging up the middle. You know, Obe Kubel's first goal that was about the only chance we've seen from the slot, and then Seattle has clogged it up the rest of the time, and it just seems like the Avs are trying to make one extra pass, and you look at their second goal, Burakovsky coming down the wing, puts a shot on the pads, and you've got guys driving to the net. That's that has to be the recipe for success. Shots from the outside, but guys driving to the net and getting to the interior. That's how the abs are going to be successful in the third period. Johnny, I really want to see you open that Johnny drum over your left shoulder. Brand new bottle. Looks delicious. So we've been in games like this before, and it's actually really hard to get out of that rut when you're in it. What's being said in this locker room right now to try and just get these guys rolling because they are flat as a pancake stuck in the mud tonight. Yeah, they are. They are a little bit. But I, I think what you look at is the, the previous four games. The Avs have come back in each of those four games. They've been down at one point or another in, in each of their last four games. So they know how to come from behind, especially against a team like Seattle, maybe not the strongest team in the league. The Avs have the firepower. If they can dial up that recipe of if you can get some interior chances, if you can get some shots down the wing and get guys to the net, that's the tough part against a team like Seattle is they're doing such a great job of clogging up the slot as well as taking away sticks in front of group hour that you have to work to get to those scoring areas. All right, Johnny, we appreciate it. The Avs looking to make it 12 in a row here at home. They've got some work to do, but the comebacks have been there. They've already had four comebacks and they make it five. We'll discuss. Downtown Denver on a beautiful January night, getting ready for period number three here at Ball Arena. It's the Avalanche trailing the Kraken by a score of three to two with Peter McNabb. I'm Mark Mosier, and let's take a look at the ball recycle real highlights. All the goal scoring tonight from Nicholas Obey Kubel. And Mos, what's really important, interesting part of this team is, you know, he, he comes over from Philadelphia on waivers. He's got a couple of goals. Well, now he goes from two to four. And, you know, you start thinking to yourself, well, can he get to 10? If he gets to 10, nice play by Burkowski. Okay, threw it right off the pad, and then that ball, that, that, uh, that uh, goal mouth scramble, I should say, the pinballing action. That's where you got to go. The player, yeah. That's where you got to go. You know, because he's not a, a naturally gifted goal scorer, but he's most, he is strong, and he is sturdy, and he goes to the front of the net. 
And you go hard to the front of the cage, Pete. Good yeah. things can absolutely happen as we are ready to get underway here for the third period. The Avs still have 38 seconds left on the power play opportunity. And there is JT Confer to take the draw. Avs come back to win this game. That's the first five games of this little five out of 17. So I've come back in the third period twice. And they'll have found completely different ways to win hockey games. And that, to me, is what I wanted to see during this stretch. So Daniel has it after the draw. Here are the Geico stats for bundling made easy. Just go to Geico.com, and there they are right there. Amps with 21 shots on goal. They've got the puck with 25 seconds left. Fired ahead for McKinnon. JT to Kettery with his shot. It's deflected up into the screen as Larson got spun around and just threw his stick into the shooting lane. Oh, a little, little change in the power play. Coming right down the gut. Not throwing it back to the guy coming back from the, you know, the behind the play. That was quick, quick passes. So the Avalanche will want to have a different look, possibly in this third period. Yeah, that was attacking up the oh, middle yeah. on the pass as opposed to the slingshot. Here's Cattery now, 20 seconds to go, and he's going to be kicked out of the draw yet again. Through two periods of play, Nas and Cattery tied with Nathan McKinnon and shots on goal at four apiece. Overall, this Avalanche team, as they win the draw, McCall straight away feeds it off. McKinnon dancing in this circle, sweeps it off for Kale. Back to McKinnon, it goes, looks for a shooting lane, dishes off Cadre to McKinnon. Bump for McCarr. No one timer on the horizon. Far side, Cadre shoots. Oh my goodness, what a save by Philip Grubauer. It's his best of the game. His goal's out of the box. That shot deflected. Swept out of the save by Grubauer again. Goodness. One shot on goal on that power play chance by the Avs. Gord finally peels away with that puck and gives it up for Don Skor. Don Skor in. Challenged by McCarr. Puck is loose to Gord. Waiting at the point now is Alexiak. Here's Yanni Gord. Right, one gets through Alexiak and out. That's again the uh, shot situation. Av 78 shots at the net on Saturday against Toronto. Through two periods tonight, they only had 35 total shots at the net. Just a different energy. Colin Blackwell, who has the third goal of the game for the Kraken, gave it up to the point. A bouncing puck corralled by McCann. Shoots! Save Francois. McCann also with a tally here tonight for Seattle. Well, we're going to look back at that Grubauer sprawling save as one of his best of the contest, if not the best, to keep it a one goal lead for Seattle. Down to the ice goes Marcus Johansson, and he's injured. It was a collision between the circles, and he's having a difficult time getting up. Let's take a look at what happened as the Avs entered the zone. I was not watching. You get tied up. Tied up right there, and he got, <laughs> he got kicked. Uh, <laughs> you got. You know, uh, I, you, you don't want to laugh. You don't want to laugh, but you kind of gotta. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Well, there's that save. Pete, in perfect spot for Kadri, and Grubauer made that push. <laughs> wow. They're sh Forget that, Morris. They're showing it on the uh, Ball Arena Vision. Ball Arena Vision. <laughs> the crowd. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Uh, visit Cooney Lexus of Greenwood Village. Come and see why we're Colorado's number one Lexus dealer for new and certified pre-owned Lexus sales. So the Avs come out of the ice. Got new hook with the Chushkin and O'Connor. So a different look up front. On the back end, it's Byron and EJ. So a bit of a different look for Jared Bednar trying to switch things up. New hook will lean in for the draw against McCann. Scrambled for Donato. And it goes to the end zone. Byron. A push push out front shot oh. wide by McCann. Looked like he had half an empty net to shoot at and swept it wide. Bouncing through center ice, he comes back to the Kraken out of the end. It just looked like he said, oh, there it is right there. And he just shot wide. EJ to center ice. Oh, Here comes Nuchuskin in. 
Now kicks it to his blade and winds it to the corner on Dunn. New hook centering pass goes right off O'Connor's skate. Here's the Chushkin. Shielding with his body to O'Connor. Tipped off. Taves walking in, shoots and a save by Grubauer. Taves did not get in and get on that puck as much as he wanted. Where did this puck? A good job by Francois to challenge, maybe forced him to shoot it wide. No, well, she just he just flat missed it. That was a golden opportunity. But for the Avalanche, it's interesting. Anytime you throw Nuchushkin out there in a line, it absolutely changes the dynamics because you suddenly have the best, biggest, pardon me, usually forward on the ice. Carson Susan flips it off the glass. That puck comes up and out. Riley Sheehan. Scoots through tables. Behind the net. Wenberg couldn't get a stick on it. Susie rims it around to the near side. Kraken label to locate. It's through Sheehan. Don scoring. Challenged by McKinnon. Up the boards it comes. And Seattle had nobody home at the point. As Larson had vacated. And the Avs could get a wholesale change here. Marsh. I take you back a couple of nights. The energy, the energy at this point in, in that game versus this. Well, this is where you have to, you have to find something. You got to be a pro. You got to find a play. You got to work it so that you get that next, point, that next goal. The building was absolutely buzzing for the entire third. Here's Gerard gives it up, walking down Copper, could not settle it off, and a good job by Oleksiak to jump into that passing lane. Rifled up top, and it'll escape Byram and all the way down it comes. Well, who's going to be that guy tonight for the Colorado Avalanche? Landis Skog and Comfer with the the uh, yep. third and fourth goals the other night. Then fourth teams won in overtime. Somebody was going to receive a pass from the big guy. Tonight, I got no clue. Done. Lost it to Logan O'Connor. Yarn Crook pins him along the corner boards. Done. Stripped. The side of the net. Grubauer still trying to get that puck. Couldn't do it. Scramble behind the cage. Out of the pile comes to Gore. Yarn Crook. Turns it all with the skates. And that puck is back to the Avalanche zone. Gore. Fun play catch up. EJ recognized at the last moment. Jack Johnson. Weaves his way. Had a chop free. More challenge now. It's Everly. Eric Johnson staying with him. Rimmed around for Donskoy just off the bench. Jack Johnson able to pick him up. Here's Miko now. Oh, check by Everly. Donskoy. Run out by a couple of Avs players. Back to Everly it comes. Larson waiting at the point. He's got the puck. Long wrist shot deflected and it and never got on net. Brennan able to see it. Feeds it off for McKinnon, and he will fly his way into the Seattle zone. McKinnon, far circle with a shot blocker save by Grubauer. On the stick of Larson. That might be one of those saves where you knew McKinnon. Because he made that look awfully easy. Yeah, he certainly did. And interesting, too, Val Chushkin was out there skating with McKinnon and ranting it. Kale. To send it ahead for Burakovsky. That puck hit the linesman, never got on his stick. Headman pass to Donato, and the Kraken are offside. A lot of whistles from the linesman. Now a little pushing and shoving in the ab zone as Donato and Kadri have a conversation. Let's take a look at this puck dribbling through the crease. Just goes across. And again for the Avalanche. He had a lot of people there, but here's the one I was saying. That looked, that looked like a, you know, sort of a, a practice save. Yeah, sort of looked like he may have had those comeback wins, most Florida, especially at home. You should see some of the numbers they have at home. St. Louis, how about that one the other night? Wasn't that unreal? They're down one nothing inside of a minute, and they win two to one. Well, dead by Sheen. Abs able to sweep it away. Kadri trying to get numbers. Burakovsky put the brakes on. Run out there by Sheehan and club down to the ice. 
Comfer made the play. Now Gerard with a torn on away from Wenberg. Gives it up. Here's JT Comfer. Far circle. Burakovsky. Finds Gerard with a wrist shot. Knocked down in front. Loose pocket. It's poked out by the Kraken who need a change. A good creative play by the Avalanche right there, but so many bodies stacked up in the slot. Just don't know how you get the puck through. Devontae's. Bangs it up, ice intended for Obey Kudel. He shrugged off a check from Lozon. John Crook got hammered. Here's Logan O'Connor in a battle with Dunn. Sweeps it off at Obey Kubel. Steers it to the point. Taves. Now Kale. McCaw, deep. Gets away from Lozon. It's batted up for Taves. Here's O'Connor. Long shot saved by Grubauer. He was screened, but he had the proper position. There's Kale McCaw all the way back to his own zone to make that play. Swept through Taves. This will be an icy call on the Avalanche. Sondermind is changing the way people focus on their mental health because mental health is physical health. Go to Sondermind.com. How therapy works. Just, Marge, you got to remember again, it's another one of those close hockey games for the Colorado Avalanche. Aside from the 7-1 game, you know, where they, you know, they had three goals in each of the second and third periods. They've been close hockey games. Certainly have, and the Avs have been figuring out ways to win, but they've got to do it again here tonight. Is the Chuska tried to hound that puck, rolls right to McKinnon to the top of the backhand, wide of the net. McKinnon gets it back. He stepped right through Larson. Turnaround shot, save, rebound. The Chuska at the front of the net got knocked down. It comes up and out of the zone. Well, the Avs starting to press the issue a little bit, and way out of the cages for Souls to bang that puck into the neutral zone. Everly right back in. Wrist shot and a blocker save by Pavel Francouz. Intercepted by Eric Johnson. Miko trying to help out his defenseman. Chopped away. Geeky, ridden right off. He'll stay with it. Up to McKinnon, and now Jack Johnson. Head up ice, bumps it for Miko. Top line has been out there for a while, and it's an offside play. 11.52 to go here, period number three. The Avs still trailing by a score of three to two, and foul was right on the doorstep. Certainly are, Kyle. You look at it right here, Boston hanging on to that number eight spot, and they had dropped a couple of games that I think that they were not happy with, Pete. It's a real comeback type of mindset tonight for the bees absolutely and, and, but again we get back to the fact that we're you know how many of these players for the seattle Kraken club are going to be with the club after the trade deadline because this is i remember i remember so clearly talking with my i, I should i had good friends good friends that worked for vegas and i said is there any shot your club is going to keep doing this i said no no shot we got a game plan. A month later, is there any shot? You're, he said, Maxie, one more time you say that. I swear to God. And then they, he called me up and said, no, nope, we're done. We're, we're, we're in this to win it. And they, you know, it, it was completely different than they assumed it would be. That's for sure. Cadbury couldn't get that puck through Yarn Crow. I mean, once they realized the club they had, it was just going to continue on, broken stick. Henry dumped down inside the Seattle zone. Crowd is angry. Hitting starting to pick up his score. Treat to sweep it at the top of the circles toward the front of the net. Now the hitting is really picking up in the Avalanche zone. Banged away with the paddle by Francois and out that puck comes across the red line. Abs will get a change. Top line is on. The Chushkin skating right now with McKinnon. And Nico Ranton in. That goes off of Everly, picked up by McKinnon. He's got ahead of steam. Up the middle, McKinnon sweeps it off for Val. Nichushkin pops it back toward the corner. And that's Wed really well there by Yanni Gord. McKinnon right back in. Abs are on side. Drops it for Miko. Ranton in to Kale McCarr. He's got room. Steers it down deep in the midst of that. That was a pass. Kale walking in. Shoots. Knocked down in front. It hits Susie right in the gut. And he's able to clear it out. Kale gloves it down. He'll bring it right back in. Drops it off. McKinnon hovering. Couldn't get the shot off. Back hit it. Saved by Grubauer. He robbed 
Jacobs. Nachushkin with the right pad. My goodness. Donato is club behind the net. McCann there. Try to steer it through Appleton. Sent back down the boards. Donato escapes. Chased. Obe Kubel with a body up there. He's got two goals on the night for the Abs. Makes the steal. As new hook with him as the Abs complete their change. He's flying as Obe Kubel. Ridden off. That one's over the head of EJ. Not enough for an icing ball as we've eclipsed the halfway mark of period number three. Seattle has done an absolutely outstanding job of to separating the avalanche from the puck. And new hook. Oh. I think you're right about that. It's, it's been the separation. Uh -oh. Here comes Don Scorn. Into the ab zone. Has a man in the slot. Delivers, and it's knocked away by Francois. He got to the puck right as Sheehan did. Alex Newhook has room to work. That puck is flipped up and out. It gets through Alexiak. Chopped off a comfort. Ab's getting a change. Well, Seattle, as you talked about, Peter. They've just played a very smart, responsible hockey game tonight, and their goalie has been really good. Kicked away. Back over the ice is Johansson. Everly tied up on the near side by Byron. O'Connor showing his speed again. Trying to push that puck up high, couldn't get it out. McCann with a reshot. Blocker save by Francois. Everly shoots, and it went off a body in front. Cadron will settle things down behind his net. Outlet finds Cadre again from Girard. Azim Cadre is in. A wrist shot blocked away by Giordano. Connor was able to pound that puck into the ice. Swept by Cadre to the right point in the car. Finds Taves. Back to Kale. A shimmy move and a shot off the post. Seventh goal of the season, and the Avs finally get it tied up. It's a 3-3 game here in the third. Moses is a big save. Whole bunch of stuff here. Look, look at this big save. Did he kick it in? That's what they're looking right now. Did Taves kick it in? Here's just one more look at the save. Oh boy, good right pad save. Really good right pad save. And here's the goal. So they say it's a distinct kicking motion. It's not a good goal. Well, they're actually they're, they're, they're going to challenge it. Well, you can turn your skate into it. That's going to be a yeah, good see, goal, Pete. It absolutely is. I, th I think it's going to be a good goal because of the rule that was changed. There has to be a distinct kicking motion. He was just turning his right skate, and the puck popped off the skate. There was a goal that was scored the other night. Uh, I think it was Mark Stone for Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yes. That was every bit. And to me, it was more yeah. of a kicking motion. And, and again, they said it was not a kicking motion, but it was more of one, if you're looking at it that yeah. way, yeah. than what Taves just did. Or very, very, very similar. And that goal was allowed to stand for the Golden Knights. And so... Distinct kicking motion. Here is the call for hey. referee Steve Pizarro. Are you? It was a deflection off the blue player. We do have a goal. It is a good goal. Yeah. Yeah. Kale McCarr with an assist. Nazim Kadri picks up another helper, his 45th point. And here it is, Pete, again. You turn the skate, it deflects yeah. off the skate and goes in. Absolutely. What they're trying to do is get more goals three, four, five years ago. And everything that was going off the skate was being called back. Now, there's no way he kicked that. Does it, you know, is Seattle going to be happy with that call? Of course not. But the idea being that all he did was turn his skate, it bounced off his skate, and I'm pretty sure you can talk to your blue in the face here, unfortunately. Yeah, Dave Hextall is not going to win that conversation against Francois Saint Okay, now Moj. We've got a whole turn of events here. You got a tie hockey game, and the Abs have really put the heat on Seattle here in the first. And Grubauer comes up with a huge save. It looked like maybe the save of the game. 
And then now, now I, let's take a look at that one more time. And again, it was just the turn of the skate by Tate right there. Right. So the decision has been made. It is a good goal. Devon Taves again okay. his seventh goal of the season. 8-13 remaining. The Avalanche once again have come out of nowhere to find themselves at least even inside of a game that's been very unusual. It really has been. Grubauer flings that one up the boards and got right through McKenna. McKenna is on the move, feeds it off for Everly. Everly with his shot. That missed the net. That was a good shot. Jazz can't get it out. Back down deep for McKenna. Everly was cruising down the slot by his lonesome, and he knocks that puck down. Reverses right and makes a play. Goes on and pinched in, made a nice read. Here come the abs up ice, though. Nachuskin gives it for McKenna. Nathan McKinnon to the dot with a shot off the post. He beat Grubauer and he rings it off the iron. Eberle back the other way. Caught off by Byram, turns and shoots in a glove save by Franco. Seven minutes, 22 seconds to go in the third. We've got a 3 3 hockey game, and McKinnon almost made it 4 3 right there. Coming schedule presented by All Copy Products. Tomorrow night, the Abs head to Music City to take on the Nashville Predators. Join us right here on Altitude when complete coverage begins at 5.30. The Avalanche and Preds. Tomorrow night, hockey right here on Altitude. Abs, of course, before the COVID shutdown, lost that game 5-2 at Nashville back on December 16th, so they would like to get back at the division-leading le division Preds. That was the strangest game. I did not go in that game, but I remember listening. The guys were coming. Johnson was in the lineup. He was out of the lineup. There was stuff going on all game. You couldn't feel like you figure out. You know, there were guys that have played their one and only game all season for the Avalanche. McCarr not allowed to play. Dorsey Kemper was pulled out of that one. Here come the Kraken back in. Puck the geek. Abs banging away from him. Good back check by Obey Kubel. Behind it, Byram, tied up with Donato. That puck is loose to Obi Kubel. Pitch for Blue, cut off by Geeky. Gerard, hit by Appleton. It comes to Alexiak. Fished off for Giordano. Back to Alexiak. Long wrist shot, save, Franco. Read it well. Mavs turn it over again. A bomb over the top of the net. Comes to the point. Mavs need to change. They're very tired. But they just can't get the puck as Appleton crashed himself into the corner glass. Now they can get the changes. Byram settles things down. Ozum Cattle turns it up ice in front of the benches. Down the wing he goes. Wanted to cough it up top. Stick out of his hand. Actually, that was Lazon's stick, but it's broken up. Oh, Johnson Ooh. crashed himself into the corner. Oh, that looked very dangerous. Blackwell stripped. Puck is loose. EJ's back on his skates. Done. Long wrist shot wide of the net, and he got a lot on it. Lazon left the handle on the near side. It's knocked ahead for Jost. He'll give it up for Kadri. Abs trying to get numbers. Kadri is in with the shot. He scores! Nazem Kadri top shelf. Rips it past Grubauer in transition. The make the Kraken pay and they've got a 4-3 lead here at Ball Arena late in period at number three for Kadri it's his lucky 13th goal of the season at his 46th point Mosh I'm telling you this is getting magical seriously you got that game last game they're down 3-0 4-1 you win You've never come back from being trailing in the third period. You do against Anaheim. Two overtime wins. 7-1 win. And now tonight, in what looked to be just a rock of a hockey game, uh, not a whole lot going on. And the big boys come up with goals late. So Kadri. Good job by Kadri. Yeah. Kadri and 
jo Joseph Barakowski, good for good for Tyson Joseph. Boy, does he need to just get some stuff going offensively? That would be great. Absolutely, his 99th career point. Tyson Joseph, he's right there. McKinnon gives it off. McCarr wanted to give it back and did not get a lot on that clock. Here's Jonas Donskoy. McKinnon stood him up. Shield ridden off by Taves and a good defensive play. And now here's Don Scoy. Don Scoy. Set off the stick on the near side. Weinberg up the boards with it. Pops it for Larson. Long shot. Saved by Francois. And he's got control. Nazem Kadri again his lucky 13th goal of the season. Tom Shelford put the Evs on top. Raffle is back. A single continuous raffle that will take place in the month of January. At the end of the month, the winner will walk away with half of the jackpot, while the other half of the proceeds will support relief efforts for Boulder County fire victims. The 50-50 raffle is conducted by the Colorado Amateur Hockey Association in partnership with Cronky Sports Charities and the Avalanche. Just visit 5050colorado.com. That's 5050colorado.com. The Avs have gone on top on Kadri's goal. Tyson Joe, sixth assist. Burakovsky is 14th of the season, second of tonight's contest. And here we go. Racket with a draw to Larson. Now it's done with a rear shot. Blocked away by Comfort. Everly has the loose puck up top, and Dunn's shot is blocked away by JT again. He's got the puck at the red line and poked away. Seattle has it. All of a sudden, the tables are turned. Dave Haxtell is going to have to try to figure out what he wants to try and do. Not a whole lot of offensive pressure by the Kraken in this third period. The Avs out shooting Seattle 13 to 6. They don't have a whole lot. Turnover. McKinnon finds O'Connor with a shot at a save by Grubel. Sorry, Pete. No, no. They don't have a lot of, like, big time offensive talent. But look for the Avalanche. This is Grubel right here. All of a sudden, the Avalanche go from down and now it's they're getting closer there's tapes did he, did he kick it didn't he kick it and then Kadri walks in it's just been one of those games where I don't know how you even explain what we've seen it certainly wasn't the kind of game that we've had last game and yet it's been a really good third period McCall takes shoot save by Grubel. Avalanche fans, Bert Simpson reminds you that when the game is on the line, call 303 790 How is Bert Simpson, good lawyers changing lives. Sorry. How's this guy not in the All-Star game? He's got to be. He's got to be. I mean, how'd he be the fifth leading scorer in the entire league and not make it? And Pete, he was walking in, and I thought, boy, he's getting a little bit deep to make a pass. Top shot. Swung up top from a car. Now Taves. Finds McKinnon one timer saved by Grubauer. He knows that shot well. Jordano's lead pass was broken up. Brought in by Yarnfield. Poke check. Now Gore. Throws it off the skate. Obey Kubel will turn it ahead. Nicholas Obey Kubel into the zone. One on five. The X get a change and he'll dump it deep. Perfect play. You know that your, your line mates want to change. So you take it, you do a little spin in the corner, you let you know that they're changing, and then and then you just dump it and release. Long high in the air and out. Eric Johnson bats it ahead. Hazen Kadri, it's a hand pass. Down to the final 333 here of the third period. But the Avalanche have won already a record 11 straight games on the home ice. You know what I haven't asked you most? What is the difference now flying with the, with, with the, the guys? Is, is there anything different? Uh, you're mostly not with me. No, no, I, 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 which makes it very nice. <laughs> <laughs> but I have nobody to jibber-jabber to. No, no, I, I just meant... You know, Pete, it's, uh, it's pretty much the same. It, it really is. Given up for Comfort, JT with a wrister wad of the cage. We don't sit in the middle anymore. That's a little bit different, but <laughs> other than that, Larson walks his way into Eberle. Uh -oh. Room shoots, blocked away by Jack Johnson. A turnaround shot. Oh, what a block by EJ. 
Pushed ahead by Renton and for Nichushkin. Big Val is in deep. Nichushkin shoots saved by Grubauer. Here's Nichushkin. Cycles it off for McKinnon. Pushes it off for Miko. Rants it in. Gerard finds Byron. McKinnon immediately challenged, and that's what we were talking about earlier, as Don Scoy has that assignment on 29. Two minutes and 30 seconds to go. The Abs with a one-goal lead as McKinnon chips it in. And Shushkin still on the ice. And crashed hard deep into the Seattle zone, but cracking away with it. Lausanne brings that puck in to the near side. Swept up and out by Lee. No, Byron could not get it out. It was cut off by Gore. There Not goes Grubauer to the bench. Nope. Extra attacker is on the ice. Gord gives it off. It's Johansson. His wrist shot never got through. Abs push at it. And out it comes. It'll roll back to the Kraken zone, but this will be an icing call with one minute and 53 seconds left. Eric Johnson continues to sacrifice yeah. his body to make plays. He comes into tonight's game, as usual, just the physical presence he blocks a shot right here plus 17 coming into this game for the avalanche the best he's ever been is plus eight i mean he is having a career year for the avalanche making all of look at the look at the, the coaches patting him on the head i mean this is a guy that wants and knows that this is his best chance to win something he's had so many very difficult injuries uh, to deal with in the recent years but he continues to just lay out at all times. Set up and out by Coffer. Gloved down by Giordano. Hammered back in McCann. Far side to Neeris. Franco's got a piece reversed by Taves. EJ Finn on that one. Gets that puck back in the corner. Trying to spin away from Gord, who challenged him, but it's Johansson with it. Down to that by Eric Johnson. Sweeps it to the hashes. Rifled up top though for Giordano. Long wrist shot. Wide of the net. Gord right there, all over Francois. Back it comes through Everly to Giordano. Abs need to get control of that puck. Everly shoots, went right through the top of the crease. McCann with a shot. That's blocked away. Shot that, but not out of the zone. Good play by McCann. Rimmed around, out it comes, but an icy yeah. call. No, it's waved off. Waved off. As they say, McCann could have played that puck. He tried to make it slide, yeah. but they caught it. That half effort thing. Here we go. Done score. Feeds it up for Winburn. Met by Ranton, and now Everly is still out there working it in. Everly to the point for Dunn. Long shot toward the slot. Knocked away. Winburn with a backhand try, and the abs cut that one off. Down on his tail now is Appleton. Turned all the way down by Miko. Wide of the net, and it's going to be an icing call with 27.4 seconds left. Lamar Giordano getting up there a little bit, but he's still got that shot. Well, and Giordano is, is that guy for Seattle. They really want it because he's a leader. Comes over from Calgary. He had, you know, a little bit of a contract left and stuff like that. But he's the kind of guy that can galvanize and reunite a locker room. And now, will he be here? When the season's over, who knows? Very valuable commodity. Oh, he a veteran he, leader on the back you end. You got it. I mean, absolutely. Timeout has been called by the Kraken, but here's Nazem Kadri. Take a look at his night. He's been very active tonight. And Petey kept going back down the wing, trying to get that shot past Grubauer. He must have had something. He must have. And now here's the goal right here. Walks in. Maybe he waited just a little longer there. That was... That's huge. Look what this tub club has done again. In my head, I'm thinking, you're getting deep. You're getting deep. You're getting deep. And a beautiful top shelf shot. Timeout is over. Seattle works its way to the ab zone with the extra attack. See what Jared Benard wants to do here. He's got the top line on the ice. That includes Nachushkin now. And on the back end, it's Kale McCarr and Jack Johnson. Winning's winning. Isn't that something, Moj? Wasn't much excitement going for a while. Right now, this place is just fire. Here comes Miko to the near circle against Kali Yarnko. Hodgman Alfonso looking in. Bracken win it to Jordana. Fumbled the puck, but gathers it back in. Banged it off of Everly. 
Pushed it front shot, saved by Fransos, rebound! Picked up by Pavel Fransos, and what a save! 16.8 seconds left. What a magnificent read by the Avs netminder. And again, I go back to 3 0. Last game against Toronto. Austin Matthews is putting on a show like there's no tomorrow. It looks like his he was singularly going to win that game for them. He, he the Avalanche down three nothing. They pull a goaltender. In comes Francois, and he has been brilliant in the games that he has played now. Time one, down. Final 12 seconds. It comes up, and it comes out of the zone. It's an offside play on the Kraken with 9.9 .9 seconds left. And they're going to do it, Mosh. There's no way they're coming down. All the way down the ice. An intentional offside. Yeah. So back to the Kraken zone for the faceoff. So the Avs will jump on a plane. And yeah, and just, just head, head to Nashville and see what's going on there, Mosh. The Predators are playing very good hockey. Oh, stunningly good hockey. I did not think, you know who's been unreal? Seros, the goaltender. He may be the best goaltender in the West. He could be. Sure, we'll see him tomorrow night. The Ams will throw Darcy Kemper at him. Hawk is down. Kraken have it with Giordano. Seven seconds to go. That went off a backside. Three to go. Two to go. One all the way down. And that will do it. The Avalanche come back from a two-goal deficit and beat the Seattle Kraken by a final score of 4-3. 12th straight home win for this Avalanche team. The franchise record continues to climb, and they've now tied the Florida Panthers for the longest home winning streak in the National Hockey League this season. For Nelson Kadri, his second game winner of the year and the 27th of his career, and that goal was an absolute beauty to put the abs on top here in the third period. Good motion. More, to me, the most important. Every single game that they have won in these five games, inside of this 17-game stretch, has been completely different. You know, they're they're up, they're down, they're dominating, they're not dominating, they're coming from behind. It, it, it is just, I don't know if there's a way now that, you, that they that you can play against them that they haven't faced. It seems to me, Pete, you're right about that. that Anything that's thrown at them from this point, all the say, well, we've seen this. We've, seen this, we've yeah. handled this. We're okay. Two nothing, three nothing. Absolutely. Right. Let's go downstairs to Alan Roach for tonight's three stars of the game. Tucker Collins from the Boulder Hockey Club. Tonight's third star from the Avalanche with the all-important game tying goal in the third. Number seven, Devon Tonight's second star from the Avalanche, scoring the team's first two goals, number 16, Nicholas Ope Kubel. And tonight's first star of the game from the Avalanche with the game winner, number 91, Nazem Kadri. Stay in your seats and stand by for an interview with tonight's first star. Our first star is with Rachel. Nas, this team overcame a three-goal deficit Saturday night. Another come-from-behind win here tonight. How much confidence do you have in your team's ability to fight back in those situations? Uh, it's amazing, you know, no quit attitude. I think, uh, you know, we show a lot of character in these moments and, um, you know, those are the guys I want on my team. And Nas, a career high 15 multi-point games for you. What can you say about the goal you had tonight? Um, we just did a great job in D zone. I was fortunate to get a pass and uh, enter the zone with possession. You know, I want to be a little more aggressive and start shooting the puck. So I was able to just find a corner and it was a big goal for us. The Avs blue line now has a league high 36 goals this season. From your perspective, what is it about this Avs decor that's making them so successful offensively? 
Um, just talent. I mean, uh, skilled players, uh, good awareness, they're smart, and they could skate more importantly. So we're going to rely on them down the stretch, and we know how good they can be, and, uh, you know, they've proven it uh, game in and game out. 12 straight, 12 straight wins here on home ice. Best of luck to you guys tomorrow in Nashville. Thank All you, right, Nash. Good stuff. Thank you. And there you go, Rachel Richlinski with Nazem Kadri. Our final score, it's the Avalanche for the Kraken 3. Be sure to join us again tomorrow night. The Abs head to Nashville to take on the Preds. We'll have complete coverage for you.